because it's 532. Yeah, of course. And um, so our first item on the agenda is discussion and action of the minutes from the June 21st meeting. Um, any discussion? Okay, if there is none, do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. A second. Sadie? Yes. Angelica? Yes. Terry? Aye. And Melissa? Yes. Okay, um, the next item on the agenda is uh, the June financial report. And um, just a comment to go along with the financial report. Um, Steve did tell us at the last meeting that on October 1st, the Oklahoma Tax Commission was going to start collecting from, from the um, entities in town who pay for this, the bed and breakfast and the hotels and motels. And um, so August the 1st, he's supposed to be sending out a letter that details how that's going to work. Okay. So um, that's just, so you can even know that like, you should be expecting that and if you have questions about it. Uh, but that should give us enough time to have a couple of more meetings before they start collecting that tax in case there's any questions. Yeah. So, um, anyway. Okay, so discussion and action on the June financial report. Any discussion or questions? Because yeah. until they're paid, they shouldn't be taken yeah. off. No, yeah. So unless they've actually already printed a check, and they're just holding the check. But they couldn't print a check. Until yeah, they that's what I thought. That would be the only like way. Because the government didn't spend exactly what we yeah. approved for them. So yeah. they've turned in their receipts. So, I, so that would be the only way it would come off the encumbered, though, is if they printed right. a check. Are so. we missing a page? No, because... They would be listed on, you would see them in that encumbered category. Yeah. Here. Okay. I would ask Steve, I can do that. shoot him an email, and then he'll reply when he gets back in. So, do we want to table this until we have that information? Yeah. I, I, like I, I feel like Because we if we're missing encumbered, then the financials aren't correct. So. Yeah. They may be correct, they're just not all there. Yeah. Yeah. All, not yeah. All it's not all there. Yes. Yeah. 
my other question would be that I would like to ask him is, does there need to be a budget amendment done since we're over budget? Yes. Yes. They talked about that last time. Yeah. Okay. I, and Kelly, I just, ready. Kelly talked about that. I think Maybe it was Kelly talked about that last time. Mm -hmm. Or the time of war. Yeah, we did it. Okay. Did it. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's done. Okay. okay. Thank you. That, that so, was. Uh, yes, it was done on Monday night. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. So. We just need that. I, I feel like there's maybe just a section that's missing out of this report. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so Either missing was or something just ran weird. Too. Thinking about it. Maybe it was. So, anyway, so. Um, because the only one, the only one that's listed on there is the. Do we have a motion to table? Yeah. Do we have a motion to table this, or are we gonna I go? would move to table the June financial report. Second. Angelica? Yes. Sadie? Yes. Terry? Aye. And Melinda? Yes. Okay. Okay, so um, the next item is the discussion and action on the Northwest Mural Fest application, not to exceed 665155. Brenda, I think you're up. Yes. So this year, um, well, last year we had four artists. This year we're going back to three. And we have the location and the artists. Um, one, one will be on the Vanilla Bean on the west side, Radio Shack on the south side, um, and also we're still getting approval on the, what am I saying, north side of the police station. So. Those are our three locations. Um, we did up our a few things, but with the percentage-wise and what we're asking is less than what we did last year. So we're asking for the 66, 51, 55. Um, same things, we'll have the fun run, we'll do t-shirts. Um, of course, we'll be doing, we'll have some music and what else are we doing? Um, it's basically it. We've talked about doing the tour, and we still just have not gotten the kinks worked out on that, is how that would work and, and be a part of this. We may end up doing that at a separate time, but because we've talked about that in the past, adding it. So. That's where we're at. Any questions? Last year, did it coincide with another big event in town. So we've always had it with the um, family day at the college, but they planned it the same weekend as, as the, car, the car show. So we thought that's going to be way too much and hotel rooms. So we went with a different weekend and we looked at high school homecoming weekend. Hey, there's Aaron. Come on. Just started. <laughs> what all did you go through? Hi. Just that we've Welcome. gone from four to three this year, so we're actually asking for a little less. Um, doing the same thing, different time. We're not with the family day this year. Yes. So. But we chose it to be with the Alba Homecoming, so that right. it's still going to have a lot of people in town. Um, I know that um, one of the artists, she's planning on bringing her husband and her child. Um, so the artists that we selected this year... Um, they're going to be coming. One of them is actually based out of Texas, um, but she's tra she's just going to drive, and she's actually um, out of the country right now. So we've got the range of artists. We have um, one from based out of Kingfisher, another one based out of Enid, and then another one that's based out of actually Texas. And so it's really interesting to see. Um, so we have some really extremely gifted and talented artists this year as well. What do you think the homecoming the high school parade will be fun? It'll be fun. The activities yeah. down there, so... Any questions for them? Do you have a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the Mural Society's request not to exceed $6,651.55. Second. Is that our second? I'll second. Yes. Angelica? 
because they wanted to, I think, paint over it. The murals were never supposed to last this long. Right. It started back in 19. Um, and that wall is really a bad wall to paint on, so it has been deteriorating. If you look up close, we have to go back now. Part of our funds go to preserving, and the clear cuts we've used in the past are not available anymore. They're trying some others. And if you've noticed some of the other murals, we've gone back with just a, um, what am I trying to say? The, um, with Lance. The yes. Of the, those right. Just a print of it over those just to keep the image the that was there. Mm -hmm. um, and those look very nice. Um, it's just whenever we looked into the cost of um, having someone, who, that's their main thing is to come in and touch up historic m murals. Um, the cost to have it a brand new print, um, canvas print through Big Slick Graphics with Lance Harshman versus um, employing someone to do that. Um, this person is astronomically higher, um, and so that's why we've gone the print route mainly, um, just to be able to cover as many murals that desperately need it right now. Um, and so, like she said, there's been at least three different types of coatings that we're trying to figure out um, just to give them the longevity. But like she said, I mean, that mural has surpassed, and several of the murals are. That's just going to be the case. Um, and so if people would like to donate to the Mural Society to fund one of those artists to come in and, and, and do that, um, but it's just not something that we have the funds to really to have someone come in and paint um, and to maintain that. So that would be, and it's going to be, each each mural is going to be between that building owner and the mural society and kind of see what they want to do. Mm -hmm. And so if they want to just completely um, paint over it, that's going to be an option for them. And that just depends on, because um, whenever we do put up the murals, um, the, especially the ones, the historical ones, that, what I understood was it's a lifetime of about 15 years, 15 to 20. Yeah, that was a yeah. lot anticipated them lasting. I have one more question. Uh, <laughs> uh, Warren Little uh, spoke to me about uh, one that he's doing. Is it, is it a mural or is it just a painting? Do you know anything about this? Probably just a painting man then um, for the museum. It's at the old depot. That's something he's doing. It's, it's really nothing not, to do with the mural society. He really okay. hasn't brought that through the mural society. Okay. He gets projects on his own. Oh yeah. yeah on yeah. his own. <laughs> and it's not really with. Uh, okay. I mean, they're That's, not. It's not funded yeah. through okay. us. Okay. Because um, he, I know. I mean, he did some mural painting projects even inside Northwestern, and that wasn't through us. Okay. Um, so people know his ta he's talented, and they just kind of, they get him and do their own things, and okay. it's not through us. Okay. We might claim it, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the map. On the map, yeah. right. I mean, I think it's really good for people to know, you know, that, that we need this preservation in our community. Um, because I think people like to see the murals. I do. Yeah, I do. Um, and I, I mean, I know other people that, you know, they'll do the drive around and look at them. And I, I mean, I just think that's really cool for Alba. So, anyway. Well, and you've noticed more of the murals are panels on the building. Yes. Because the buildings themselves are not great mediums anymore. Yeah. They're getting very damaged in water, and we just can't do anything yeah. about it. Yeah. So. Well, but a panel, that's a really good idea. Yeah, it's yeah. worked out well. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for planning the Girl Fest and for all that you're doing. Later. Okay. Have a good evening. Okay, that was very interesting. I'm glad you asked that question. Um, okay, so um, last time at our meeting, we discussed um, the making a few changes to the application for um, the Tourism and Convention Development Committee funds. And so um, Jody and I have met twice yeah. about this, and um, there's also a set of instructions that goes with these to help people that. fill them out. It's it's okay. I mean, it's a little bit it's a little bit lengthy to tell them what to do, but it kind of just basically gives them you know the rundown about 
what qualifies and what doesn't and how they should do it. And so, but this is the actual application that we're planning on making changes to. We're not making changes to the instructions. Um, so, the couple of things that we talked about um, that Jody and I thought were really important was that the application must be submitted to her 90 days prior to the start of the event. So, if the event starts on June 1st, March 1st is the day. If it's June the 3rd, March the 3rd is the day. So um, that, I think that that keeps us from having, you know, different people that we aren't planning on or even people that we are planning on coming to the committee two weeks a week before their event and giving us their application. And um, because if, you know, if we did have questions about an event or the application wasn't filled out correctly, we don't have any, re any time to recoup that, you know, we just can't fund their event. So we feel like this is a win-win for our committee and for the city of Alva and also for the people that are planning the events. Now, I know some people are going to have to, like, move it up on their calendars, but that's okay. And I think um, Jody and I talked about the chamber is going to send a letter to everyone who's applied in the last three years mm -hmm. so that um, they all know that we've changed the application and just including a new copy of this. Yes. And so that they'll have it for their files, but also they'll, they'll have notification for the Mural Society or Nescatunga or whoever it is, car show, whoever it is that's applying. Um, so 90 days prior is one thing. We also want them to list the names and contact information of their planning committee. So if Brenda is the one that comes and talks to us, but we need to talk to Brenda and we can't get a hold of her, we know that there's Erin and then there's, you know, whoever five or six other people are that are on the committee. Um, and also, I think that keeps it from being just a single person planning an event because Al is way too big of a, a city for there just to be one person planning any event that we have. So it should always be a, a committee or a group of people. Um, and then the other thing that we wanted to include on the application, or reinforce, I guess, is just that we need all of their receipts 90 days after the conclusion of the event. And if, and that would give us, that gives someone who's applying six months. So, you know, if you're March the 1st is the deadline, the event is June the 1st, then, you know, I guess whatever, three months after June, um, September the 1st would be the cutoff for that. So, you know, we need to make sure that, um, that everyone is abiding by those guidelines because then we don't get into the question that Terry's asking, yeah. you know, like Thanks how much is outstanding and what do, we, what do we approve that we haven't paid yet? And that'll help us keep our financials, you know, in a better, in a better place. So, um, anyway, do you guys have any questions, comments? Are there other changes that you think need to be made to this application? Yeah. 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 I wrote oh, that yeah. down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think it's great. I love that. The so, um, yeah. And I mean, are you, I mean, do you guys feel like ninety days is enough time? More than enough. I, I feel like too, I feel like it's yes. you know because I mean we have some people that come six months before their event right. and talk yeah. to us and and you know I I appreciate that because yeah. it helps us plan. Well, and receipt wise, they have to buy most of their stuff prior to, so that really. They have plenty of time to submit for their reimbursement too. Right. So that's, I mean, giving them 90 yeah. days after when they should have already have it is plenty of time. Enough, right. Well, and then they know far enough in advance that they're going to be funded and at yeah. what level. Because yeah. I mean, we've had people come and ask us, and we haven't funded fully what they've requested. Yeah. We'll and so, it, if I mean, often it, it happens. Yeah. And so, you know, if that's the case, where are they going to get the extra $3,000 if they were planning to spend on the band or whatever yeah. it is that they're doing? So I think that that's important for them in, in their planning. So I'll probably email it and I'll probably mail it too. Okay. I feel like I deal with more of them emailing it over because whenever you are able to fill out the, the budget sheet, uh -huh. it already has it already. Yeah. Oh, I think yeah. I don't care how you communicate okay. with them. Okay. I just I'll think they both. need to they need to get some kind of communication yeah. about the yeah. people that have applied so that they know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's sent out before the next meeting. Right. Okay, so 
Um, so when will this go into effect? That's is that for that. this year? Mm -hmm. Or is it for like starting October 1st or what? I was thinking probably starting October 1st because um, that's when we're going to be collecting the money in a different way. And so I think it just okay. kind of all starting you know, cleans, cleans, everything. cleans everything up. Okay. Um, so, and Jody, maybe the revised date should just say 10-1-23 okay. or something like that. I can do that. So, yeah, every 10 years we probably should update it. So. I feel like I saw that. Um, and I mean, I'm, I'm great with people filling it out online and bringing it in to yeah. get, I mean, yeah. that's, I have no problem with that. That's how I do everything. Yeah, so. Google Docs is amazing. Yeah. So, you could create it in Google yeah, Docs too. Google. Good, thank you. It could even be in the, like, there's a Google poll thing that you can do that just pops up every question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they fill it in and then it just prints out. I mean, yeah. Nice so, and clean. It's nice and clean. I bet. Okay. It could be a project for uh, Caitlin. That's true. And I think there's a couple ways you can print it. I think you can yeah. print it out as a, like a, that you can print it in an Excel spreadsheet, so you'll be able to see all the people that have applied for the year. Yeah. But I think you can also print it in just a single, like you can print each application out, so you don't yeah. have, you know, we don't have to read it off of a spreadsheet. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, okay. it's, it doesn't. Really That's so, a good idea. So, do I have um, a motion on editing the financial assistance application? I'll make a motion to approve the or edit the app financial assistance application and begin using it October 1st. Give a second. Second. Terry. Yes. All right. Cindy? Yes. Terry? Um, I. Angelica? Yes. And Melinda? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Item six is a tourism report from the chamber. Okay, so um, real quick, um, Emma Klein is going to be working full time with the um, public school, so the chamber has hired Caitlin Holkin to take her place, and um, I wanted Emma to make these before um, she left. So if you have any changes, let me know before. Well, let me know like in the next week because um, her last day is the thirty first. So, um, please take one and pass it along. That one, oh, I think, that the one that's like yeah. stack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one is the red carpet and the um, the Oklahoma guy. And um, and that will be the half page. And then this one is the full page for the outdoor guy. So this is the red carpet. And any thoughts? I mean, just let us know. Training oh, steps. Training steps. Sadie. Told you my brain is not on it today. And this is the outdoor guide? Yes. And it's a full page? Yes. Oh, here I'll make a proper spot. So oh. oh. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. And we updated the pictures. Like, we put um, the cruise. Is, oh, cruise. We just had the cruise. For the, the big cruise. The car, car show, show is, um, you know, like every third, and then we put the museum, and then we put the Rialto, we put the theater, and then we put shopping. So, if there's anything else, just any updates, or if you want a different picture or something. I don't love the picture of the hands. I mean, if you don't know what that is. Okay, yeah, I feel like yeah. you guys did bring that I don't, up. If you don't know what that is, yeah. um, you, it just looks like a little kid holding dirt. Okay. Or a weird I, I just yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it just flashed into my head you guys didn't want that. I'm change. not crazy about that. Yeah. Maybe something that's more local in town-ish. Well, I, that's because of the outdoor guy. Yeah. For the, for the sand, the salt. Yeah, the salt thing. Yeah. The crystals. I, but the, they have tons of pictures, so I can get that. Maybe she could look at something else. Yeah, we can tap them. So. I don't mean to be a problem. No, 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 no. I like remember. the rec center or something. Yeah, like, like the rec center. Or yeah. Softball or okay. yeah. soccer. Yeah. Then we could do that. Ooh, what what other thing? I think there might even be an aerial photo floating around of the rec. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know if it has. Courtney. Courtney. I would talk okay. to Courtney, yeah. And I think can't really see what that is too because it's covered with the alba. Sorry, I 
think it might see it better. But I don't know. You just can't really oh, the, see the, like the oh, like the alabaster. The yeah, yeah. The, I mean, well, um, those wildflowers don't really matter if they're covered up, but you can't really see can't that. What that, what that is, is. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe put that like down. down here. Yeah, see how switch those. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I didn't notice that. Let me just stop. I thought. No, good thinking. But oh. I forgot you guys did say that about the hands. That's my fault. And this, or more visible. You can move this down. Which part? Like the cavern. You can move this here, and then. Maybe just do some type of a baseball or yeah, like wheat. I like the wheat. Yeah. Because it's you know mm -hmm. wheat country. I like that. I don't know. Just so yeah. maybe just throw some like ideas out here. So you think maybe I'm behind the no design maybe put the base like the, the record park or something. Well, I think you could put it almost down here at the bottom. That's kind of I was thinking. Where you could see and then bring the wheat the across and then the top. Put the wheat yeah. up here. Oh, wheat okay. is the background. So it's not really a picture. You're blocking, blocking. So put the wheat this, here. If there's wheat, everyone knows what that yeah. is. Mm -hmm. So okay, wheat here and then um, wreck. Okay. Do you want to write Question on this mark? extra one? This yeah, let's awesome. do that. Yeah. I'll just say I'll I'll make your line I have it on my computer that she emailed. I could just email it to him. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then different crystal picture. Or yeah, just. I mean, I don't even know if you have to. Yeah. I she mean, said there's a ton. Yeah. So, but she'll give it to me over there. So. so okay. Um, any other comments on the tourism report? No. All right. Then. Okay. So, since there's not any staff here, um, I guess number seven is we don't have anything. Um, are there remarks or inquiries by any of the committee members tonight? We appreciate you guys coming. And Marianne, thank you for coming. Yes. So, do I have a motion to adjourn? Five. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Oh, we don't have to do that. Oh, we don't? Okay. <laughs> so, and then, um, so, well.